We have Texas Southern head coach Janetta, Janetta Hayes Perry, and to her right is guard Jasmine Parker, who had 20 today, including four from three point range. Coach, we're going to open up with a statement with two questions. Um, first, I want to congratulate her. Um, it's, it's really hard to for me. And the reason they're capable of doing it is because they know how to win. And that's really important. I thought the game overall was very, very competitive. I thought both teams great, very, very good effort. I just felt like down the stretch at times we didn't execute and we gave up too, too many offensive rebounds to come out and select champs today. Questions? Coach, it seemed like the game was really about making runs. Uh, mm -hmm. Trying to get out from the going stretch to the going stretch. Did you feel like you had that other run in you there down the end? I did, but it takes the air out of you when you give up an offensive rebound and give them a putback or give them second and third chance opportunities. One of our goals was to limit their second chance opportunities. And we felt that today we gave up 16 rebounds, offensive rebounds. We gave Larissa Scott six offensive rebounds. And those turned into buckets for them, whether it was a three, because we're scrambling out, or we fouled them on the free throw line. But every time we did that, the momentum switched. Um, so I think that definitely um, – was part of the reason we didn't have the success we wanted down the stretch. Coach, um, Alexis really had a real spark for us in the second half. Um, she fouled out. Did you talk to her about the, her fourth and fifth foul were pretty close together? Did you talk to her about uh, her foul trouble? Just considering her solid play, she's all over the court. I did. Alexis is a freshman, and I think that's a part of growing. And the difference again between winning and knowing how to win and learning how to win. Um, she struggled because she was doing what I asked her to do, get to the rim. But when the defense was saying you can't, you got to reverse the ball. We talked about that. She missed all of that, but she got the part about getting to the rim. So I think that's part of the learning process. We'll go back, we'll reevaluate things, we'll watch film, we'll talk about it, and hopefully we'll get ready for postseason play. Coach, talk, talk about what. You told your players once Alexis fouled out, what, what was the strategy at that point? Finish. Even when we got down and it was 3.7 seconds, finish. I told them that every day it's not going to finish the way you want it to do. And this is the life lesson. Finish. Finish everything you start, no matter how it begun, no matter what happened in between. Finish. And I thought that we were deep enough that we could play without Alexis. But, again, maybe she would have helped us with the – you know, on the boards defensively to get off the offensive rebounds. But I thought our freshman came in and gave us valuable minutes in um, Ashley Ferguson as well. We had Crystal, she was there. But collectively as a group, we didn't rebound the ball. It wasn't just our post, but we were in that zone, and they were flying in from the top of the zone, and our guards up top weren't boxing out either. So they just outplayed us. They outplayed us on the rebound the tonight. Jasmine, any, any ramifications here from playing through games in three days? Um, it's really hard to do that. And, um, Brand new is uh, 14, but um, I really don't have anything to say. It's just all we have to do is finish. Of course, we're the better team, but hey, if they play harder and they finish, we can show today. So if we could, if we could do that in post play, we'll be fine. Coach, you think the team wasn't tight at all? No, I think that. Um, our girls are in very good shape. They practice every day. They practice a lot, and they push past the fatigue part. I think that um, perfect winners. If you know how to win down the stretch, even when you when runs go, um, emotions are flying. We picked up a technical foul that we shouldn't have. It hurt. You know, winners stay in the game. You don't do that. You know, so our kids are learning how to win. Again, a lot of them never been in this situation before. We won a championship last year, but we lost in the semifinals here as well. So this is the first time experience for them all over. So I feel comfortable saying coming back next year, they'll know how to win. They'll know who they need to face, and they'll probably see PB again because kids like that return over and over and over again, and they'll return their whole team just like we are. You, you were able to keep them off the scoreboard very early, very well. I think they started three for 17. What was the difference between what you were doing early uh, and the finish? We started giving them second chance opportunities. Once they start hitting the boards a little bit and they realize, oh, we can get here, they start coming in hard. Everybody can link as a group. And that spark got them going. You know, these kids play on them and they play on emotions a lot. And I think that definitely had a lot to do with it. And once they got going, we were in a battle. Um, I thought Coach Don did a really good job with the girls. But overall, we did as well. We just didn't finish the game. Got time for one more question.
Alright, that's it.